What awful world is this? Well, four more minutes, then we go. Thank you. 
are we excited about the or mystery setting? Ah. Nice. 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 I hate this fucking background color. Ugh. All right, let's get this show on the road. So I think there's some sort of intro device, but I have to up ass. Oh, okay, that was it. Well, let's see what we're in for. I wanted to let's play this, but YouTube being what it is, we're doing it here. Hmm. The hint is alright if we get stuck. your child a failure? Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an art degree? Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. 
Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. We combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology. And finally, our secret sauce. And then your prodigy child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, wizard, and cat. You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Time to put on some beatsies. Ugh, I am so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. <laughs> Yes, I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford a real doctor. Would you like a real doctor or a live action doctor? Hmm. What do you think, man? Dog or regular? Oh, that really? Thank you, Laura. Hello, uh, I'm your Dr. Trooper. I will be your guide. Right, if an object to interact. Left click to activate interaction. Just a gentleman calling to activate interaction. Very good, huh? Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. Damn it. <laughs> Sorted. Tutorial information station. I like to keep this here just in case I forget how to exist or I forget my will to live. Hello, tutorial button. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Please help. I try not to Oops. think too hard how letters seem to magically appear when I press this button. Or about why I exclusively think out loud. No. No. Have a look at the circle. I managed to salvage these of the King of Muscovich. It has a memory of 6 kilobytes, weighs 2 tons, and its only purpose is to play solitaire. Hey computer, don't listen to the others. Bigger, it's more beautiful. Hmm, I don't feel like playing solitaire right now. I've never seen tape reels as big as yours. Well done. 
That is where I bring all the girls. No. No, I don't. Sometimes I wish you would support me better, you know? I feel like we're drifting apart. <clears throat> Alright then. I had a nightmare that I was in a terribly written adventure game. But the designer was ridiculously good looking. No, my Weird. fourth wall! Eh, I don't think that would fit in my indentry. I had a nightmare, but it is weird. Damn it. Thank you for dying for our musical scenes, DJ Jesus. Oh, his back of his neck flops around the ass. Hello, shrine of DJ Jesus. DJ Jesus, please let my EP be the fattest of them all. I rather not commit sacrilege and anger the electronic music gods. Oh, damn it. The it's a the organizer, sort of like a personal digital diary, compulsory to all citizens of Krush. The organizer, if you tell anyone who my high school crush was, I'll forget. Get to take you out to my pocket next laundry run. Ah, oh, it's in four years. Is лучше уволиться аккурат перед выходом на пенсию. Так решитесь, не придется выплачивать вам пособие. Не стоит увольняться на полпути. У вас такой большой потенциал. Лучше уволиться аккурат перед выходом на пенсию. Так решитесь, не придется выплачивать вам пособие. Fucking Belgian. Penis key. Ah. I prefer to leave my super secret personal diary full of personal secrets out in the security of open spaces. Right then. I probably should wash ah, his face. But I just don't have the heart to kill the little civilization of bacteria. They're so cute. I think they just hit the bronze age. Hello, Cerebo. Hello, small civilization of bacteria. I don't have any cereal to use it with. I want to mine some Korzakovic unidentified flavored pups right now. Well done. Ugh. Gugh. I'll do the dishes later. It's uh, pushing it to crush a date. Hello, adapter. <laughs> I could probably use it on something else. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. Fuck yeah. If only people could adapt like this adapter. Robot human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Oh jeez, I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. Fisk. Well, I don't have a fisk. What's the fucking meaning, Cyber? Those are my sexy pants for sexy occasions, so I can be sexy when I cry myself to sleep. Nice. Hello, sexy pants. Hmm. I don't think I need to be sexy right now. Hmm. I don't think my inventory can handle that level of sexiness right now. 
God damn sexy pants, get down here. I used to let the hobo crash in then. I didn't check on him for a while. I soon found out he likes smearing things on walls. I don't go in there anymore. Hello entrance. You would like me to walk through you, wouldn't you? You'll make me sick. Fucking Encino man. Ugh. I'd rather not. I can't pick up doors. What? One part of my record collection. I bought it for 10 euros from a talking dog. I think he hustled me. Before I knew it, I was rubbing his belly and playing catch. Get rich or die of natural causes. Who said all the best rappers were dead? Hello, record. <laughs> the record is missing from. Can you say hello to everything? Damn it, you hustling dog. How can I say man that you? You're so cute and fluffy. The record is missing from. Damn it, you hustling. Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. It's a beautiful concept album about the forbidden love between a human and a T-Rex. Nice. Hello, record. This could get John in the mood. What? This could get John in the mood. What? Sean Sensualstein. A guide to love for the futuristic lover. This one got me my first online girlfriend. Who turned out to be a six-year-old man. But well, that's beside the point. The wall record. This could get John in the mood. Who? Huh? This could get John in the mood. Who? Huh? Pluto. If only I was still a planet. Just thinking about this still makes me cry. The wall record. The record is missing from its slip. Damn it. If you were a square, I would love all four sides of you. So true. So true. What? The wall record. The record is dim. Damn it. Oh, computer. Let's John. He's an artificial intelligence unit. He used to be one of those matchmaking robots. But he kept flirting with the contestants. TV was just not ready for robot-human relations at the time. Doesn't look like he's turned on right now. I need to turn him on somehow. God damn it. I'm... I'm not going to push his buttons again. Not after last time. No thanks. Even though I don't think there is anything wrong with it, I'm just not that into artificial intelligence. <sighs> That's where I make my sweet ass disco a beats. I also use it to look at cats on the internet and slowly Kay. waste away my life. Hello computer. Thank you for making my fat ass beats. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals and fanny bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I What's should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. That is not a portable Lappy Toppy. Lappy Toppy? What the fuck? It's a really good game. It was the first game in history to make players violently ill from an overdose of puns. Progressive. Hello, poster. I am already using it. That is true. What is it? 300 GSM paper, satin finish, real nice. Bearded Beats, one of my favorite beard oriented bands. Gross. Although, not as good as Bearded Beauties. Hello, poster. I salute you, Bearded Beats, the first beard based band to go mainstream. I think it looks better up there. Hmm. Mm. Damn it. That is a plug from the now disbanded Republic of Pushinska. I'll need some sort of adapter. That doesn't look safe. Wait, hold on. 
It worked. Oh, mate, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? I'm. Ah. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Well, originally, it was a picture of a big phallic object with a smiley face on it. I'll have you to thank for that. Do you ever miss the days when you were just a matchmaking robot? Oh, a little, mate. Although the show was pretty terrible, post apocalyptic Australia wasn't very pretty. Hey, dude. Do your Hal 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Dave, you're a drongo. You know I can't let you do that. That's just stupid. Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat ass beaties. Mate, with some of the filth I see in your internet history, I'm not surprised. Makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shillers who would be gutted, and then I change my mind. What the fuck's wrong with this computer? Don't make me donate you to the SSOPC guild. Please, anything, but not the senile seniors operating personal computers guild. I had bigger dreams than being used to play solitaire and send money to Nigerian princes. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but uh. It's perfectly normal, for sick blokes such as yourself anyway. Alright, Tomb says so below the stream. Real talk, why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is buggered. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need a warp and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Can't they just turn it on and off again? When did you learn advanced IT support? Oh, I'm impressed. Top bloke, congratulations, true blue, amazing, top wazza. Alright, I get it. Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright, I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird, it only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area and one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Hmm. It did Google with two U's earlier, I'm assuming to avoid copy ass. But they're fine asking it here. Just tell me where to get it. Alright mate, I'll tell ya. But first I need your help. I've got at least ten chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight. And I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look at my eyes, Jorn. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners, except for sweaty salvage men. And I'll tell you what, mate, I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new EP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Yeah, we found some ass already, so... My, you know your tune's paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory dues if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, I have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. I see you're ready to catch a honey's own night on your mm. Hey, do you ever think about what it would be like if we communicated by touching our butts together? Yeah, nah. I figured you would understand, so I prepared this pipe and mash earth for your benefit earlier. 
Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I would really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, say, Copsa, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the bush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, Krush is world number one in the Brabant economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Holder. That's the basic gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for more nuclear fallout, mutations, people died in agony, wine, suffering, and lots of prolonged screaming. Isolate humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Piper my shade seems to always reject you, Paradigm. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. One day. But yeah, go see Dog Outside with some direct dudes to Space Cadet's place. That's John. He's an art, but... <laughs> I have to go return some videotapes. Do you mind picking us up a pack of smokers and a slip of beer? Cheers, mate. Weird out. Warning. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Well, that's yeah, loud. Fucking hell. You please it be, sir. Yes. I want. I want you to bring me paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need... We need... <coughs> Have you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to... Um... <coughs> I'm just going to let my face out. What? <coughs> Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. Let's see if we can ask the uh, volume of it. We go like that. Then ask up in here. Sound like that, who are Oh look. Oops. Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Many artists wish I didn't show your vision and hearing. You take way too many very special bits for that. It's a part of my curator process. Never doubt my curator process. Any new theories about where we came from? So, we know they killed on a foot, and so we do a radioactive bat. I became a teenage mutant ninja making foot. Fingers crossed, you're the son of some sort of intergalactic god alien race. Then we don't have to worry about the uh, rent anymore. But yeah, over the next, your guess is as good as mine. Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? I really wish you were more of a wise cracking sidekick comic relief from my crippling self-esteem issues i'm more of a vegeta buddha type but instead of having a large belly i'm a large puff of flesh so free to rub my fishy rough for good luck when did you realize you were conscious don't really remember or did you ever i had uh, some sort of guide for you especially when you were young all you wanted to do is drink bleach stupid baby what the kind of all the nutrition and vitamins are. Got a very fine voice. 
see you tomorrow with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Oops, wrong ass. I don't have a map yet. So far, walking aimlessly for hours, hoping to get to my destination, has worked up to this point. Nice. It sure is a door, <laughs> being a door, doing door things. Hi, door. Hello, door. Miniature unicorns fighting flying pokes power station. Naming by public vote is uh, never a good idea. Or is it the best idea? I'm not sure. Hello, unnecessarily long power station name. I'm already using it for the power station. As much as I like miniature unicorns fighting warrior pugs, I don't think I need to carry this around to prove it. John used to be active out here, but uh, I disabled the module because he kept telling passers-by to graffiti the phrase Paradigm sucks balls. Hello, deactivated John 3000 terminal. Hi. I can't. He is being deactivated. Sorry, player. I can't let you do that. Mm. There used to be a call to get inside somewhere around here. Then the game designer realized it was a terrible puzzle. He had better things to redesign, like poop jokes. Hello, useless scene object. I can't. The buttons are just stickers on the box. Sometimes I'm amazed that I haven't died already in this power station. My biceps are not small enough. God damn. <sighs> The buttons that will tab work. No. Something many people don't know about the Messiah. He has some sick hand styles. Hello, Jesus, sick hand styles. I don't really want to use his style and incur his almighty wrath. I see you have a D. Would you like another? What? Radioactive sludge, the gift that keeps on giving terrible lifelong illnesses. Hello. Damn it. Hello, potentially life threatening radioactive poop. As you can see by my hideous deformations, I don't need any more nutritional sludge. <laughs> unless it gave me the superpower to not poop like a foot. There's a manufacturer of face moisturizer that pays top dollar for this stuff. However, it is not the time right now to make that sweet side money. It's kind of quiet now. These are clearly just toy dials stuck on with blue tech. Hello, blue tech on dials. They're toy dials. The measurements on them are. Moopies. I don't think I can use this for much. But on the bright side, our Moopies reading is off the scale. Oh, nice. I don't need this in my life. <sighs> You'd think the boiler would contain something important for running the power station. But really, it's just filled with liters upon liters of vodka. Alright, girls, Emil. Hello, unprecedented amount of vodka. Being this is a puzzle game, I would prefer to stay sober. It would be handy to carry around a lifetime supply of vodka. I'd be like the king of parties and hangovers. Maybe even projectile vomiting if I was lucky. Occupational health and safety says anything less than three layers of duct tape is unsafe. But I like to live wild and only use two. Hello, duct tape keeping me from experiencing an extremely painful death. I'm already using it to keep the building from exploding. 
Mm -hmm. I think I'll just leave it be so I can die of natural causes. Or from fighting wizards. Maybe dragons. We've got this duct tape. The whole building would more than likely explode. Still down. I'll leave it there just in case. God damn it, Lucas. Stop spraying your intellectual property on my property. Hello, Lucas Arts Intellectual Property. Please don't sue me. Hmm, maybe I should use it. I wonder how long it would take before I get a cease and desist. Nope. The hobo from the Red Room also liked to smear things outside. You'd think it would help here, but this spot has never been the same. Goddamn. Hello, dirt. Oh, you so dirty. You dirty dirt. If uranium lies dirt did something other than horribly mutate me, I'd definitely use it. If it wasn't lies with uranium, it could have been useful. Another mm, slop. Radioactive sludge. The gift that keeps on giving. Terrible life. The same one probably. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Hello, mailbox. Hello, reminder of online shopping regret. Hey, look, I have new mail. I, uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. What? Hey, there's something else in the second mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. <laughs> If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up manual to use the map. We're. Hello there. Pashevsky's vodka. The only and the fit. Hello, card juice. Being this is a puzzle game, I'd much prefer. To yeah, one shot can't hurt. Oh. Turns out, I'm a lightweight. Fuck. Good. Being this, I'd much. Yeah, one shot. Turns out, I'm a lightweight. Hmm. This could get Jonathan. Die. To pay rent, uh, Doug sells his beatbox beats. Pretty good. Too bad there's like five people living here in Krush. And all of them are on government support. Hello, sign. I was never blessed with I like his way of lips, saying hello to But thing. I was blessed with smooching lips. There, that's a lie. I was never but I there. If I do that, uh, he can't sell his beats. Which means yeah. he can't pay rent. Which means I would have to smack a bitch. Maybe not. That's Doug. He is a beatboxing eggplant. He likes to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. Oh no. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, bro, Licious? What the fuck? How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. <laughs> I did. He's alright. Probably spitting a lot there. Hey, he's alright. Fuck yeah. 
Not what I expected. Jesus Christ. Very fucking fine. Do you know much about the space cadet? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. God of Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. <coughs> Lots of blowjobs. Ah, uh, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. God damn it. Oh, the audio volume is all over the place. You do not want the dialogue to be low. The cutscenes are very loud, so I had to turn everything down. <sighs> Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. You haven't tied too many teeth for that. Uh, what kind of drug addict? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust. I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mine from the moon. But really it's just remarketed crack. <laughs> I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. I have this, uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that'll work. You can find him in the bottom right in, uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Alright then. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. How's the hustle going? Rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man, give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. <laughs> yes! Peace, bro. What a fine man. How much without pants are we are we guessing might occur here? Some strange stuff happens out here, man. Like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Photosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. Hello, Forrest. Thank you for inspiring one of the 90s best films. It still makes me cry just thinking about it. Speed walk, Forrest! Speed walk! If I had an indie folk band, I could probably use it. Or even a black metal band. All you need is the correct amount of filters and the correct amount of ego. If I owned a multinational tree logging company, believe me, I would make some pure fat steaks. Oh my, it's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. It's another fucking tentacle. 
Hello, mildly disconcerting glitching tree. The last time someone tried to touch one of these trees, their arm ended up inside mid glitch. The person then fashioned his armor into a cricket bat. Pretty cool. You're always glitchy. I'm always itchy. We can still be together, baby. What? The sign says, please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Good man, Satan. Hello, warning sign. I will make sure to heed the warning to recycle and not to attend forest info sessions run by a dude named Satan. Ugh, info sessions. Then how would people know how to recycle without summoning Beezlebub? Beezlebub. <laughs> ah, you old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. Hello, jungle trope. If I could, I'd use it to fly out to a much better adventure game. Maybe something like the new King's Quest, or some new Wedgedite game, or even Telltale. They got pretty good stuff going on. I don't know, something like that. Telltale dead, What's mate. What's the point? I'm terrified of heights. I don't think it would ever work out. Those are metamushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. The only side effect is really swall traps. Swall. Hello, Metumashis. Hail Satan. At this time, I have no need to headbang for hours on end. I don't need any headbanging drugs right now. Besides, mm -hmm. I require long hair and a black metal band t-shirt to use it to its full potential. Dildo? Isn't that banned? Press for Super Spooky Crash Plane Edition. Hello, button. Yally. Yes, <coughs> very spooky. Ah, you old crap. Wait, Nikki, they're not. If you. Hey, button. You can push my buttons anytime. Since you know, if I push your button, it's only fair you're allowed to push mine back. Whatever you feel like, I guess. Skelly. Skelly. Nice. It's a toy rocket which <coughs> has three settings atmosphere, space, and pleasure. <laughs> Got them. Hello, rocket ship with questionable functions. Skelly. I have no reason to use it now. Maybe later. No, not the pleasure setting. The other ones. Don't look at me like that. I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. <laughs> like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. While it is tempting to use one of the three settings, I prefer to save it for something better. Again, I want to stress not the pleasure setting, the flying setting. It seems to be some sort of a rare artifact, possibly from the copyrightous infringements era. Legends say that the archaeologists who found the artifacts received the curse of cease and desist. Hello, green, mysterious artifact. I can't use pop culture references in gameplay. I'm already pushing it as it is. I can't carry around the nostalgia. Yes, you can. It's a the organizer. 
Sort of like a personal digital diary, compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Не переработайте окурки. Не стоит увольняться на полпы. Лучше уволиться аккурат перед выходом. Hello to Pogornizer. So, yeah. You never take another person's to Pogornizer. It basically just locks your account immediately. I heard it from a friend. It's not even plugged in. And wow, there's at least four rats living inside. With what seems to be a little couch and studio lighting. Also a laugh track. What the fuck? <laughs> Space Cadet also seems to be transfixed by it. Well, cute rats which appear to be in some sort of rodent sitcom. If I post this online, I could probably get internet points for it. Sorry, rat family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. Fuck. What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh. Right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. No wrong does. Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as AC. What does the AC stand for? Addict Chic. The real innovators of fashion. Yep, they made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Kurkulowicz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disc will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes, give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. What is uh, space dust? It's uh, space exploration in uh, powder form. Do you ever get to see any aliens? Yeah, but they are total dicks that don't pay taxes. Except for Florgan. He's alright. Why do you take space dust? To escape the monotonous routine of everyday life. The pain I feel from past unrequited love. 
the harsh reality of human emotion and life. Wow, that's quite profound. Maybe I've misjudged you. Thank you, Talking Peach. You're not so bad either. For a delicious fruit, make sure to tell Banana he still owes me 20 bucks. Banan. Are there any side effects? Uh, blurred vision. You also turn into a metaphorical elephant. And sudden combustion. That's a pretty big one. Hasn't happened so far. Obviously. Frankly, I'm not sure how I'm alive most of the time. Uh, where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. Oh, damn. If it's uh, that simple, why don't you go yourself? Let's just say I had too much space dust. And let's just say I thought I was a rocket ship. And I tried to launch myself off the top of his mansion. And of course, rockets don't need clothes. Anyway, now I'm not allowed to go there anymore. Is there a specific amount you need? Infinite, please. I don't think that's possible. If you look into your heart, Paradigm, you can do anything. Except maybe win a wire loop skill tester and find happiness in life, inevitably regretting your decisions upon your deathbed. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here, the little house on the mountain in the middle. <laughs> Oh, damn. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh, uh. Then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Krush. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? Please, no. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum, paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty Pretty sure that. We're in an alien zoo? Fingers crossed they have a mating program. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys who accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia. And trendy period relevant catchphrases. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Yours works too. Let's uh, change the subject. Kawabungu! I might need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later! <coughs> Poor guy. It's a rare arcade game which explains the intricacies of interplanetary love with lasers. Hello, arcade. Hey, I used to own this. 
I actually have the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. Yeah. Hey, I causing and if only the whole world had access to you, game. Prejudice against interplanetary love wouldn't exist. They're going to the moon. Truly an interior designer genius. He uses cardboard boxes for storage and furniture. Groundbreaking. I just want to let you know, Box. You are the unsung hero of storage and <laughs> container of broken dreams. No way. I'm afraid to touch furniture so expensive. I have enough boxes at home to store my own broken dreams. <laughs> Normally, this outfit combination would be atrocious, but the moon shoes really bring it together. <laughs> Looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. What the fuck? Spherical? Should be saving. Looks like so. Hello, spherical spaceship. I am not really ready for Mount Says. Probably not the greatest idea. Oh well. By now, I should have cut Space Cadet's power, but that would mean I would lose my high score on Planet Love. I can't ever let Ping 24 beat me again. Hello, Power Cable. I'm very intimate with crucial safety standards. And to be honest, I would like to stand at least two meters from any cables at all times. I already have enough extremely dangerous cabling at home. <laughs> Space dust, please. I'm actually impressed someone so wired can even write that. Hello, character development sign. <laughs> Garbod signs. Is there nothing you can't do? I really don't want to impede on his space dust quests. Out of kindness and out of fear he will eat my face if he goes into withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how advertising works. <laughs> Hello, observatory. Door note. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'd like to make a deposit. A deposit of my love for you. I hope you can look past my huge mountains of debt. I see the pickup, the both pickup lines and. and uh, Looks that took like me some a little longer than that. Space observatory. However, on closer inspection, it's just a washing machine bowl attached to some large PVC piping. Hello, observatory. It's locked. Besides, I don't need to go inside to see more priceless box furniture. Mine. I'm pretty sure you don't quite understand how physics work. It's literally just a piece of paper and a keypad drawn on with crayon. Nice. Hello, keypad drawn on with crayon. This is cutting edge technology. High-tech keypad security drawn on with crayon, compelling burglars to go back to art school. Pretty effective. Then how will he protect his valuables? 
Weitern. Und wieder näher. First, of course. Skelly. Ah, Bastard, come on. Skelly. Nah. Dude, what a tune! What? But there he is. Great. A windy road for artistic effect. No consideration for my fitness at all. I wish my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. One hundred men died building that tower. Nothing to do with the dangers of construction. It was mostly alcohol poisoning. Still tragic, nonetheless. Hello, power lines. It's already being used to transfer. Roar power. Took me years to trademark that name. Stupid protein bar companies think they can beat me. This is not SimCity. Although, if you'd like it, I have like 10 copies on Steam. Stupid Steam sales. <laughs> not a drug dealer. An ideal example of the pinnacle of concealment. Yeah, wrong place then. Hello, inconspicuous sign alluding to the fact that a drug dealer does not work here. If I need to conceal the fact that I'm a drug dealer in the future, I might consider it. Hmm, what else are you not? They say on Kropolaya lives Baba Yaga's witches. Really though, they are just old ladies who can't afford retirement homes. Oh. Hello, mountains. I considered living in the mountains once. If it weren't for the Baba Yaga's witches, there is only so much cheek pinching I can handle. This is not some folklore tale. This is life. One where no one replies to your phone messages. <sighs> I admire your curiosity that you would <laughs> even click <laughs> on the sky. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, Sky. I liked you in the movie Vanilla Sky. I'll use it to keep the oxygen within the atmosphere. Damn, you're so good at keeping me from falling into the sky and dying a painful death of oxygen deprivation. <laughs> Oversized mansion, pillars, fountains, and large surrounding walls. All dead giveaways for a drug dealer's house. However, the sign gives me second thoughts. Hello, Soviet Union style building. May your design remove social class even from drug addicts. <laughs> I'd love to use it for my Scarface fantasies. Nah. I am not a real estate agent, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. Why? Why isn't fast travel implemented here? Oh god, I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. This is the worst. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, come on, stairs? No, escalator? This isn't Rocky. I do not have the calves for this. What's happening? <laughs> Fucking head bird.
Nice. Yes, yes. I too love bugs. You are proof there are still good people in this world. I can't use someone else's undying love for bugs. I could not pick up bugs. This makes me sad. Wow, this is a limited edition Pushinska army knife. Mm -hmm. It's the only standard issue army knife to replace the knife part with a serrated spoon. Nothing like it will strike fear into the heart of your enemy whenever they hear stories of death by serrated spoon. Hello, extremely dangerous serrated army spoon. Oh, I'm not sure if it's responsible to use a serrated spoon here. Maybe it will be handy somewhere else. Baylor. I've always wanted the Kush army serrated spoon. Okay, I totally forgot these have a press to talk button. Nice. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Hello, extremely. I admire their spherical nature greatly. Spherical. Like two big grassy balls. Hello, can you beatbox? I guess not. It would probably make Doug jealous. Well, ditching this quest for a gardening quest is tempting. No thanks. It's a the mm -hmm. Bogan composer. Phantom. I gotta help him. Если вам трудно принять важное решение, просто подышите в пакет. Головокружение откроет вам новые горизонты. There's a dog in there watching YouTube. I'm not sure what's going on, but I know it's cute as hell. Hello, security room. I'm not sure if I want to interrupt the dog inside watching YouTube. He looks like he means business. I grow tired of your incessant need to pick up inanimate objects. <laughs> it's gross. We'll never ah, yes. cease. Right, Cody. Your bodyguards, cheap, recyclable. And after you are finished, you can make some sweet blanket forts with it. No girls allowed. Hello, eco-friendly bodyguard. If only I had a marker, this would be a beautiful canvas for Felix sketches. Doug already is basically my bodyguard. I don't need this. It's a rare CCTV bush. It receives nutrients from invasions of privacy. Hello, laughable security. This is no time to show my godlike figure and mutant booty. I don't need to spy on anyone in the area the, uh, of this way right now. Sexy pants. Knife spoon is destined for greater things. Damn it, Minstar. This works. <laughs> Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. Mm, leather jackets. I would like to purchase some space dust. Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean. Get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. It's no bubble. Bollocks! You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. I 
I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm. Maybe you are right. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Sorry, I was supposed to do something that proved I was not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. Aced it, even. Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? Fat policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait, do you think I'm fit? I am not a cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? I'm a part of a fat gangster hip hop group. Prove it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap rap and rap rapping guy and and I uh, uh, uh. That was terrible. I don't believe you. All right already. Jesus. This is going nowhere. I'll tell you what. If you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa. Isn't that pretty brutal? <laughs> Not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard and or butt observatory. What? Fingers the crossed fuck? there were some local decapitations today. Oh fuck. Ugh. Damn it. Hey, mate. It's me, John 3000. I managed to form a connect to your headset again. So the one blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Anyway, the tune this new bird, she wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound boy, she sent me. Super bonds are hot. Makes me sweaty just listening to it. Can, uh, can you please leave me alone? Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, that's not good. What? It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to cyber with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. This isn't so bad. I can live with this. Oh god, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing, since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah. I came out an ass. It's so hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. I can't wait to forget this in a few minutes. Hello, graffiti. 
It's so edgy, I could use it as an actual edge. I can't just pick up such advanced social commentary. Plus. It is said touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hand smell weird from all the other people touching it. Hello filthy human hand stains. Ugh, I feel so dirty. I think I've picked up enough diseases just by looking at it. Oh damn, that's a big band-aid up there as well. I uh, don't have any witty comments. I specialize only in human mutant poop jokes. Hello bird poop. In the Gonboro culture, it's considered a delicacy. I made that up. But observatory would not be the same without its bird poop stains. I'll leave it. It's a breast compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Hmm. Damn it. After their first fall, they decided to do some remarketing. They were on all the social media. Neo Lennon even had a Let's Play channel. Until they fell again. Like, comment, and inform. Hello, misguided symbolism. I don't need to create any political change right now. <laughs> Yeah, girl. Let's make it work in theory. <coughs> nice. Look, a butt crack. There is a crack which happens to be on a butt. Please, don't make me say it. Hello, butt crack. I wish more people would let me touch their butt cracks. I'd make sure to wipe you clean every day. I like there was a guy out there somewhere who thought oversized band-aids was a good business plan. Hello, comically large band-aid. I do not have a boo-boo big enough. I don't think I'll have a comically large boo-boo in the near future. Welcome to Krush Butt Observatory. It was commissioned during the neo lukewarm War as a representation of Neo-Soviet Union strength. However, in secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo, primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were laughed out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. Hello, information plate. I'm going to use this knowledge so hard one trivia night. Doug will be dethroned. I notice your use of academic references. I've always been into intelligent flex. Nice. Lake Papushka. No Loch Ness monster, but uh, we do have a flesh-eating virus. Hello, life-threatening lake. There are more fun ways to get wet. Like Fisher Rusky slip and slide, or the equally fun slip and die. I could bottle it and sell it to middle income earners as health water. Just got to get around the whole flesh eating virus part. Now comes with that crisp, life crippling taste. <coughs> Great access for the sad suicidals. Sad suicidals being the local base jumping group. Hello, Plank. I, Paradigm, will kill myself because I cancelled my favorite TV show before its time. Is probably what would I say if I was going to do it. Are you into pirates? I downloaded like three seasons last night. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. 
Hello, launch area. There is no time to play poorly funded space program. Sir, we need the rocket. Sorry, John, we've got to see what's next on. Help, my dog cheated on my wife. You make my rocket launch. Alex Castle, he locked himself in there to prove some points. When, in reality, he's just a dick and no one wants to save him. Hello, Castle. If I had the castle, I'd replay it in it so hard. I've always wanted to play a debaucherous fat king or the dainty princess. Don't judge me. I'm the mutant to get passed through your emotionally and physically reinforced walls. There are a bunch of skeletons down there. Plastic ones. The real ones get taken away by wild animals. Or become magical fantasy skeletons. Hello, Ravine of Lethal Death. I can't think of a good use for the Ravine of Death. The Grand Canyon may be bigger in size, but you have the bigger personality, Ravine of Death. Also rocks that look like boobs. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. Hello thing that makes things appear closer. Turns out repairing although it's bolted on with and has no puzzle solving significance. God damn. Fuck, I'm really tired for some reason. It's probably good because I have vaccine tomorrow. So going to GN early ish is probably a good idea. And we'll continue this tomorrow. Time for watching, man. TTY. Oh.